We're all volunteers for RTDs as ambassadors for the light rail opening today. Our hours are 9.30 to 1 and we're just trying to help people learn the system a little bit. My name is David Mentor and this is my sister-in-law Pam Mentor and this is my father Bill Mentor. Well, I'm from the east coast of Florida. He came all the way out here just for the to, light rail Just opening. to be here and to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> my husband's a light rail operator. So I wanted to show my support of him and also for the light rail system in general. I'm Scott Reed, I'm the Director of Public Affairs for RTD. For RTD, we began our first light rail line in 1994 that opened. It was a 5.3 mile line right through the center of downtown that went from I-25 and Broadway, bisected the 16th Street Mall, and then went out to 30th and Downing. Then the next line we built was the Southwest Line, which is an 8.7 mile extension from I-25 and Broadway down to Mineral Station in Littleton. And again, people said, oh, nobody's going to take light rail. They can't get them out of their cars. But we exceeded our ridership projections by 70%. We're projecting that by the end of the year, we'll have about 33 to 34,000 passenger trips per day just on the southeast line. So this is a dramatic increase in the amount of service throughout the southeast area. And we're very proud to bring this online for the residents of Douglas County. Um, good afternoon. I'm Melanie Wortley, Douglas County Commissioner. Between the two lines that we currently have um, coming south, uh, the southeast line is the first line that comes directly into Douglas County. The opening of T-Rex, of course, is, is not only a celebration within uh, the Denver area and especially in Douglas County, uh, but across the nation because this was a, a project that came in um, in less time than they expected and on budget which is an extremely amazing um, feat in itself when you look nationwide. So the celebration we knew was going to take place. We had um, all kinds of entertainment out there at the Lincoln Station. Food vendors came. It, it was very heartfelt, I believe, celebration by the citizens. And they really turned out in, in droves for, for the opening. Train currently loading goes to I-25 and Broadway. I-25 and Broadway. One of the great things about light rail is it, the trip time is exactly the same every day. If you leave from the Lincoln Station and go all the way to downtown or all the way to Denver Union Station, that's about a 40 minute trip. So it's reliable enough, you could literally set your watch by the times that our trains depart. We have a 99.9% .9 on time performance record with light rail. And as far as the uh, trip itself, that's productive time, if you will. You can read, uh, listen to a personal stereo, uh, use your laptop, uh, even sleep. I don't want to spend the rest of my days in vain Waiting for you Times are hard for love, they say And I've got some other things to do Let me pencil you in, not ten to whatever I've got it. Well, light rail travels at a top speed of about 55 miles per hour. 
and it accelerates and decelerates very quickly. So when it comes into one of the stations, it has the ability to slow down very smoothly, uh, deboard and board people, and then take off very smoothly. So there's only about a one minute dwell time to 90 second dwell time at each one of the stations. One of the things that we're really proud of as well with the Southeast Line is each one of the stations has its own unique artwork that was Im embedded in the community and it was selected by a community selection team. Here at the, the end of line station in Lincoln, we have the artwork on the side of the wall that it shows different reflections and different colors throughout the day depending on the position of the sun. They were all done by artists. The vast majority of them have been local artists and it just really makes each one of the stations unique. And then the thing we're most proud of are the benches, the windscreen benches. Each one of those has embedded into it a different type of artwork that kind of looks like a stained glass. I'm Rick Ward. I live in Stonegate at Parker. It's a genuine 1929 Ford AA popcorn truck. That old roaster's about 100 years old. By taking public transportation, we significantly impact the environment in a positive way because we don't have all the single occupant automobile trips. And we are also helping with uh, reducing the amount of congestion on the highways. A car bogged down in traffic on the highway is one of the most heavily polluting times that that car is in operation. So we think that with light rail, we're really helping in a lot of different ways, not only from the commute perspective, but more from a global perspective as well. The other thing to keep in mind with uh, light rail is it helps shape development for the future. It, it increases the density around the stations because people want to live in close proximity to the light rail stations. We also have a bike and ride program, as we call it, in which you can take your bicycles on board because we do ask you to become familiar with the way that you can take your bike on board light rail. Our system is fully ADA accessible for persons with disabilities. And then if people want to take strollers aboard, they can do the same from those. Well, this may be the end of the construction of the T-Rex project and the start of the Southeast Light Rail Line, but that's by no means the end of rapid transit or light rail and commuter rail in the Denver metro area. So we're really just getting started with expanding rapid transit throughout the metro area. So it is extremely significant that we should celebrate this, um, especially with the population base being in the northern tier of the county. It, it's extremely important and has been expressed in every um, survey that we've done in the county that our citizens want choices. I believe that the partnership has shown that it does work. That, that governments and private business can come together to support um, public good, but that we also will remain firm in our commitment to help other uh, corridors um, retain theirs. I guess the only thing that I would say um, to the citizens within Douglas County is, after all, we all know that light rail doesn't, it doesn't begin in Denver, it begins in Douglas County.